name's Chris and I am a freelance game artist from the UK. Uh, just recently I've been working in my spare time to create a uh, character and character controller for Unity. Um, it's getting close now, uh, I've almost finished it, I've got a few placeholder animations that need replacing but the controls are there and I'm hopefully I'm going to be submitting soon. Um, so this is the character. And this is just one of hopefully many characters because I'm hoping to make a character library for the asset store. Um, I'd like to have a whole bunch of characters in there, male, female creatures covering a whole ton of different styles, each with their own animations. Um, there may be some shared animations if the characters are very similar, but I'd love to be able to provide bespoke animations and real quality characters for for uh, people to use. Um, as for what people, um, I think this could be extremely useful for uh, small game teams and indies. Now they may want to take these characters and uh, I personally think they'd be fantastic for prototyping. If you want a quick start to a game, um, if you want to see how the level feels, if you want to run around and just get an idea of how things are going, um, this I'm hoping would be a very very quick way for people just to get a 3D character into their game, um, click play, run around, and you know, see how it goes. Um, also, if the uh, deadline's quite tight, this could this could be good. So for game jams, if if uh, if it was allowed in the rules, then this is a, would be a good way to have, get 3D art in there. Um, and even I think people would be able to expand this into a full game. Now obviously this is just a character with uh, its movement set, um, there's no mechanics, there's no gameplay, but uh, I can't see why this couldn't be expanded and added to and uh, made into a, into a full game, which I'd absolutely love to see. Um, if it does happen, if anyone ever buys this in the future and makes it into a full game, then please, please contact me. I'll, It'd be a pleasure to see what you've done with my characters. Um, so, well, yeah, well, I've, I've gone off tangent now. Um, <laughs> this is the introduction video. I'm going to do a series of short videos after this, just showing uh, some of the character controller options, um, how you can take this character and you can tweak the settings to make it fit for your game. Um, you'll be able to make it jump further or higher, for example, if your game requires that. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to go over the, the controls in the basic uh, third-person mode. Now, the game uh, controls are very similar to MMOs, um, so anyone who's played an MMO will be very familiar with them. Basically, it's WASD for movement. Uh, these keys could be remapped, but WASD, W forward, S back, A and D for turn. If you're moving forward at the time, then you'll do an arc camera will move. If you press space you'll jump, if you press shift you'll run, and if you press space while running you'll do a different type of jump. Um, if you press uh, this, the second sort of mode, and this again is MMO basics, like you'd, you'd expect this to be uh, in an MMO control. If you hold the right mouse button, you'll uh, go into mouse look mode, and while you're in mouse look mode, uh, you'll also be in strafe mode, so A and D will strafe now, and if you press W and A at the same time, you'll strafe in a diagonal. Again, the runs are all there, and just a few different anims. You've got some evade animations, which you could uh, you could tweak uh, if you don't want them to be as long. And a backflip. Uh, it's just for a little bit of flair. It was a bit of fun. Um, and that's, that's it really, this is, uh, like I say, this was just a brief introduction, I'm going to go uh, into more in depth into the character controller after, um, I hope this will be interest, of some interest to you, um, and, I'll, uh, <laughs> and I'll speak to you soon I guess, bye.